Tonight's review brought to you by a great big bunch of CGR Undertow. Support the DVD on Kickstarter to see our best videos with commentary, skits, interviews, and more behind the scenes crap. Folks, don't wait. Support the DVD today. I thought this day would never come. What's going on, Optimus? Go ahead, Optimus. Go ahead and tell him. What's going on, Optimus? We have just witnessed a dark legend come to life. Well, that's one way of putting it. Another way would be that it's the worst legend. Another way would be that it's not even a legend at all. And yet another way would be that we've just seen the worst f***ing game ever come to life. Go ahead and tell him that, you big truck. We have just seen the worst f***ing game ever come to life. Hey, here's the crazy thing about this game. It's only a couple years removed from some really awesome Transformers games. And generally, this one's similar. The problem is, it was made about a fraction as well. No kidding, like, it's not even half as good as the cool Transformers games. It's 50% the game War for Cybertron was, and Fall of Cybertron was. But look at this, we're talking about math in a Transformers game. What's next? Least common denominators? What the hell happened, Optimus? I thought this day would never come. Now, oh, well, don't act surprised in this day and age of publishers trying to cut corners, trying to compensate for wasting money elsewhere. We all know what's going on here. No reason to bullshit us, Optimus. What we have here is all the components that make a Transformers game, but without any of the polish or the attention to detail that make them good. This is not a good Transformers game, even though it kind of plays like one, even though it kind of looks like one. When you look closer, and you notice the bugs, and the chugs, and the clumsy level design, and the... Oh, what the hell happened, Optimus? I don't know. I'm a truck. So the game bounces back and forth between good guy missions and bad guy missions. So you get to play as Autobots and Decepticons, and that's awesome. Problem is, out of nowhere, the game just drops the Decepticon side. Like, even the game got tired of this game. But the disappointments go way beyond just technical problems and a botched story. Like I said, the levels are so boring, not even great gameplay could make them fun to play through. I, like, I don't know how many tunnels and tubes I went through, but it felt like a hamster. Like a giant metal hamster. Actually, that sounds way more fun than this. I really think the presentation's one of the biggest letdowns here. I mean, I remember those two Cybertron games as having some really cool graphics and sound, being really polished, but this one is not. And, you know, you throw in the bugs, and it's like, oh, man, it, it feels like a whole different team made this one. Because they did. This is not the same team that did the Cybertron games. This is a team attempting to emulate those games on what I presume is a smaller budget, and... and not. But, you know, even so, there's still some fun to be had here. To, to be fair, the disappointment is more about what it isn't than what it is. It's not the really good Transformers games, but it's a really mediocre version of the really good Transformers games. Which means that it has some moments, you know? Some of the weapons in particular are a lot of fun to use. I love the slime cannon especially. And as underwhelming as the car transformations can be, there's always something awesome about turning into a jet, blowing shit up, transforming back in mid-air, and then landing on your feet. I mean, I mean, that's what I want from a Transformers game. Look at me, being positive about this crap. I thought this day would never come. Now, don't get excited, big guy. Game still sucks, but... I mean, any, any game where you get to electrocute robots and transform into other robots, I mean, even when it's botched as much as this one is, you still get to electrocute robots and transform into other robots. And I, I believe that's something we should all be able to appreciate. Actually, it still sucks. I'm just trying to counteract all the negativity. I mean, do you realize how much negative energy it must have taken to generate a flow of this size? It's Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark for the PlayStation 3. 